right, take me through the play, the big play on Rose Big Shot. What was what was called? What was drawn up? And how did it all play out? Um, he called three, and usually um, the person throwing it in goes across um, for a look, and then we have a shooter coming off backside. But we knew that if he put me in the game, it would bring a lot of attention. So I'm uh, pretty sure like four of the players went with me, and then it left Row um, with a good look, and Tier got a good screen for her, and Row knocked down the shot. So um, she's been really clutch for us before. So Oh, it's no shocker for me. Did you know what was going in when I left her hand? I was looking. I was on the opposite side of the court, and I was looking. I was like, this looks so good, so good. And then it went in, and I was just screaming. I was so happy. With Victoria having the, a big overtime period, it seemed like they were kind of denying the basketball. I mean, it was a really effort to get her into basketball. And that last play, did y'all think maybe perhaps she would be the one they kind of gravitated to? Um, I mean, yes and no. At the same time, I feel like we have so many weapons, it's really hard to just soak in on one player on this team. So, um, at the end of the day, I just feel like they had to pick and choose who to guard at what times, and uh, sometimes it just didn't work for them. You ladies just can't get to the national championship without going. Uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Emotionally, what is it like just the final seconds of regulation there before the pro? I mean, we were just telling each other, like, we're built for this. This is toughness. The tougher team's going to win this game. And we really pride ourselves on just toughness, aggressive, um, mentally strong, um, not letting the other team get in our head. Like, do one more. That's our thing all year. One more. Whatever they do, do one more. And so I just feel like we did that today. I've always said you're one of the team's biggest cheerleaders. What did you say when Roshanda Johnson hit that shot? I was just like, way to shoot, baby. Like, you, we got to have that confidence, you know? Like, it don't matter if you have missed three shots or your last three or all of them, whatever. That In that moment, we needed her, and I mean, I was just so proud of her. Everyone has just stepped up in big moments for us, and that was her moment for sure. Gino versus your dad Sunday, or it could be Notre Dame. Who you taking? All day, I know. All day, my dad. I, my coach. My coach. <laughs> What can you say about Tierra's performance tonight? Another big game for her, another big stage. I mean, she never fails to disappoint. When we need her, she steps up, and she's a rebounding machine. I mean, we tried to do our best and help her rebound, but it just seemed like she was getting her hands on everything. And I feel like her being 6'7 and just the dominant force that she is on our team, she takes so much pride in getting points and rebounds, and she definitely did that for us tonight. Hey, Blair, what did your coach say after uh, the regulation to you guys? Um, that we were built for this. I mean, he always tells us, like this is our one more um, and when it gets tough that's when it gets just right for us so that's what he told us and we really um, stepped up and enjoyed that moment and finished the game what do you think was the biggest struggle in the first half to slow start for you guys um, we just were making really poor decisions. We weren't getting open. They were doing a really good job at denying us the ball. And, um, I mean, we just – they were taking us out of our offensive flow. So, honestly, I just feel like we couldn't get our shots. We were taking the shots that they wanted us to take. What did it take to get back into the, that flow? Just focusing, understand that we have to be sharper on everything, your screens, your cuts, just um, mentally getting in the game a little bit more than we were.